Hey guys, this is Zorkent too. So, I just figured out something that I just figured out something that is probably going to help greatly against 9699. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to be doing it next episode. Okay. So, as we all know from episode 18, right? He had a, like, he had some kind of bow and arrow that instead of an arrow, it shot some kind of crazy TNT thingamabobber. If you, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it leads to episode 18 of 9699's Reign. Uh, that's the video I'm talking about. Uh, look at the part where, um, just before we enter the portal in the second village. There's something very interesting where 9699 has some kind of bow that instead of an arrow, it's like he's shooting out an arc of TNT. And, uh, that probably explains how he destroyed the village so quickly. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, basically... What I've discovered is I actually figured out how to make a bow that loads up, but it never shoots. Basically what I did, I went, I wouldn't say in the in-game files, but I, I went into the, um, I went into an NBT editor for Minecraft. What I did is I just put an extra compound tag that just said charged item in the um files for the bow that i'm holding right now yeah it's got multi shot 100 on it don't mind that i was just trying to see if multi shot worked on the bow which it didn't anyway um i wouldn't have even known because uh even if multi shot actually did something i wouldn't be able to tell with this bow because look what happens i load it up right and look, guys. I'm moving around. Here, to prove... To prove that I am... I am actually not holding the keys anymore. To prove I'm not... See that? Here. Here, I'll move forward and jump at the same time, which you need two hands for. See, guys? Okay. No matter what I do, I can try and, like, tap. I can try and tap as much as I can. I can, like, I can hold down. This bow is not going to shoot. Some kind of weird glitch that I found. So, I think something you guys are noticing... Excuse me. Oh, yeah, by the way... The bow, it stays charged forever, but then when you switch to a, another slot, y you can just move around again, break stuff. Oh yeah, I have haste on, so. Yeah. So, anyway, um. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Anyway, um. What was that? Oh, yeah. So, you guys probably noticed that I am back in the 1.8 beta. Well, not like I ever switched out. Actually, I did, but you guys just never saw. Hey, look. I'm in survival, but I can... Yeah, whatever. Ugh. Okay, so... Anyway, what I was trying to get to before this stupid, stupid bow just stopped. Alright, whatever. Here we go. I don't even think... I haven't tried this yet, but I think it doesn't even work in... Oh my... Yo! So it doesn't even matter what game mode you're in, this is gonna work. Like... The, like, every time, it's gonna work. Yo, that's perfect. So, guys, do you know what this means? 
Alright. I'm planning to use this for the creepypasta war. Yeah, I know. Lame man, but whatever, right? Anyway. For those of you who watch uh, the creepypasta war stuff that I do, this is going to be very helpful. You guys will definitely want to stay tuned for 99's Reign episode 19. Because I actually had the same amount, or I actually had the same advice from both Awesome Raven Studios, which we haven't heard from in a while, and and Awesome Guy. By the way, those two aren't the same person. Awesome Guy is another person who's not Awesome Raven Studios. But this time, I got the same advice from both Awesome Raven Studios and Awesome Guy, who I'm just calling Awesome Guy because that's just the nickname we decided to call him, or I decided to call him. Anyway, I got the same advice from both of them. Basically what they said is, I, I know a place where there is at least, like, six diamonds. A guaranteed four, probably like six. Awesome Raven Studios on his uncorrupted XNXX world, uh, dug close to the where I found the diamonds and found, like, four more. So in total, I think there's, like, ten, but... Anyway, um, there's this one place on the XNXX world, kind of near the first village, like that desert village that you have to, um, cross to get to the second village. So, there's a cave near the first village, um, which has a spot, like, at its deepest part, there's a spot with, like, guaranteed at least, like, six to eight diamonds, so what they said is, we should just get some diamonds, craft a diamond pickaxe, or two for Mady. Like, one for me and one for Mady. We should just go in to 9699's lab and just break that meteor. Break that meteor block by block. And honestly, I agree with them. But guys, now that I discovered, like, the troll bow, you know, I, I am literally... I am literally going to get an anvil. I'm going to rename this the troll bow. Alright, troll bow. Not saying we're going to be able to do anything with it, because I'm going to delete this world shortly after I finish this video. So this is a legit troll bow. You can't shoot it. That's literally what this is. Huh. Okay, so basically, uh, yeah, anyway, I, I was trying to remember what I was getting at. So anyway, in episode 19, we're going to be doing two things. One, we are going to destroy that meteor, like that's probably the top, that's probably the number one priority. Number two, that bow that 9699 was using on us. Uh, last episode that shot all that TNT. Well, I think you guys already know what I'm where I'm going with this. So on the X next X world, I'm going to load up my NBT editor um, on that world, and I'm going to make another troll bow, except this time it's going to be on the X next X world. So it's going to be on the same world that 9699 has that super OP TNT bow. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to figure out where he puts that bow. I'm going to go there. I'm going to switch out that bow with this troll bow. I'm going to do it. And the next time 9699 tries to shoot that thing at us, he's not even going to be able to fire. First of all, if he does somehow manage to fire, it'll be a normal arrow. And it'll probably be impossible to manage to fire this bow because you physically can't. Whether you're a creepypasta or a player... It's in the NBT files. It is physically impossible to fire this bow. Boom. So, that is definitely going to be handy for 9699's um, TNT bow. Also, I just realized we can use the TNT bow as an advantage because we're basically we're switching out a super... Uh, excuse me for... Uh, excuse me for my language, but 
we're, sw we're switching out a basically a super crappy bow that can't even fire with a basically god bow that can shoot arcs of TNT. So, that's a pretty fair deal. <laughs> to me, anyway. Won't be a 9699, but hey, you know what? That guy is already so powerful, why does he even need that bow? And why throw it away when he can just give it to us? Yeah, we're totally not going to use it against him. Anyway, um, if you guys like don't even watch my channel on a daily basis and you just came here because you saw that this video um was like how to make a bow that doesn't fire and you just clicked on this video because you were like oh my gosh that's so cool um yeah i i do this creepy pasta war thing and i'm planning to use this to my advantage in um a little war among creepy pastas that i'm kind of involved in right now and uh, if you are here, well, I, I don't mention this anywhere, but since you have um, still since you have still watched the video to this point, you guys get a little treat, okay? I'm going to show you how to make one of these troll bows that stays loaded and you cannot fire it. Um, so yeah. Also, yeah, don't mind the efficiency, um, max enchantment. I was, uh, trying to mine this little bedrock block. Of course, that was pointless, but you know what? Whatever, right? Okay, I'm going to get onto my NBT editor, and I'm going to just do it. Yeah. Okay, so, as you guys can see, I completely deleted the troll bow to make sure... Or, so that you guys can make sure that this is a completely new troll bow and that it doesn't involve already having one, because then actually that would be impossible. Uh, I'm keeping the command block though, because this is like a test world for like command blocks. You can see I've got one like right here. Yeah, I've got them like all throughout the world. Oh yeah, and these craters, command block created. Yeah, basically this is like a test world that I use. Anyway, yeah, that's why I'm keeping the command blocks. Anyway, whatever. Stop raving on about command command blocks. I'm going to show you guys how to make this troll bow that doesn't fire. Uh, quick disclaimer, I'm very sorry, but you do have to be in the 1.8 beta. Because it involves uh, getting this handy dandy little crossbow here. Now, this video, uh, I won't show you how to use the crossbow regularly in this video, because... Actually, I've already made a video um, where I just basically test out how the crossbow works and everything. So if you want to go check out that video, um, I'm going to put the link in the description as well. And yeah, it's like 40 minutes long, but I, I am very informative in that video. So yeah. Anyway, um... Basically, I set up these command blocks here in a corner so that it's all right to test the coordinates. All right, so I wouldn't recommend, or I, I would recommend, uh, you don't need, it's not required to have show coordinates on, but it is very helpful. Um, so you don't have to pay attention to the 66. You don't have to pay attention to the Y coordinate at all. You just have to pay attention to that 122 and, whoops, you just have to pay attention to that 122 and the 574. Basically, what you want to do is, uh, yeah, you want to get your crossbow, you want to chuck it in that corner, and make sure it's in that corner, because that's the coordinates it's going to be in. What you want to do is you want to exit Minecraft. Alright, and, uh, see, um, see this thing? Uh, you need to download that. That's the NBT editor I use. It's called Block Topograph. Basically, what you do, um, you go in here. Yeah, that world's name is Memes. I'm sorry. I just have to be cringy, you know. All right. So the coordinates I believe were one twenty two five seventy four. Oh, we got it first try. Alright, so you want to look at the POS, that's the position, 
you want to make sure that it's that the first set of numbers you don't have to pay attention to the decimals at all you just have to pay attention to the numbers before the decimals if if the first number is your x coordinate and the second number is your y coordinate you are good to go so once you do that you want to not not that one you need to open open chunk entity you click on that little red thing or tap whatever all right if it's a minecraft item we're good all right basically uh, see that little red one called item? Yes, yeah, so you tap on that. That's going to bring up three things. One of them says count. The second one says damage. The third one says Minecraft crossbow. Okay, basically, what you do... <clears throat> Alright, what you do is you delete the cross. And what makes it a charged item is, this is, this is the complicated part, so bear with me, okay? You want to um, see item? So you want to tap on item and hold. And that brings up this. You want to go to the very bottom and click add sub tag. And you want this to be a compound tag right here and you want to type tag. It's very important that you copy these, like copy the name down exactly as it is, lowercase t, tag. No spaces, no nothing, just tag. Very important, cause it's like something to do with the coding. Anyway, so you should see an extra thing pop up that says tag. Now, after you do that, you wanna click and hold on tag and you go, go add sub tag switch again to compound tag and type in charge lowercase charge item like exactly like that okay it's kind of like um python camel casing like the there's no spaces and the first word is lowercase but the second word is uppercase charged item exactly how i typed it uh, compound tag for the type. Oh, no, all right, good. Then you want to say create and please go away. All right, so now, ugh, now when you tap on tag, another thing should pop up saying charged item. All right, good. So, after you've done that, hang on. Yep, all right. I haven't tested, like, I haven't tested it without this. Alright, so, but it is safe to do this. So basically, what you do, you, you keep it as byte tag, you add another sub tag, and you're going to go uppercase count. Alright, eh. Now when you tap on charged item, should say count, yes. Alright, now... Hold on charged item again, add sub tag. This time you want to be a short tag that says damage. And by now I think you kind of see where I'm going. Um, no, 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 I don't want to close it just yet. So I think you see where I'm going. So count and damage is right here, but it's also up here. And in addition to count and damage, there's also um, a blue ABC thing that says name. So we have to put that in. Uh, so the how to get the bright blue ABC thing. You have to make sure it's a bright blue ABC thing. Um, but how to get it, uh, the bright blue ABC one is called a string tag. And you want that one to say name, exactly how I typed it. And boom. All right. Yeah. All right, name. Minecraft arrow, just like that. Now the thing is, so it ugh, it looks like I'm typing in the kind of code that would make it seem like I'm trying to make the bow fire. But you see, charged item, 
That's when the bow is... That, that basically means that's when the bow is loading. And you're like, okay, exactly. And you see, you're loading... You're, you're putting a Minecraft arrow into the bow, so it's going to shoot out an arrow. Uh, uh, uh. You see, you see what I did to count? If you look at count, what do you notice about that number? You'll notice that that number is zero. So basically what that means is that the bow is charging up and it's loading zero arrows into the bow so that when you release, it's going to shoot zero arrows so yeah and even if even if the bow actually does release it's not going to fire anything because the count is zero sure we do have arrow in there it, we're telling the bow to shoot an arrow but we're also telling it how many arrows to shoot and we're telling it to shoot zero arrows so that means it's not going to shoot anything so, yeah. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to get back to the block topograph and I'm going to I'm just going to delete uh the count damage and name and I'm just going to stick with charged item. So, what you want to do, there's this little blue save thing. You want to click on that. You want to go okay. Then you want to go back into Minecraft, which takes another eternity. Oh, I'll just be right back. Okay, guys, so we are loading up the memes world again. So, remember when we threw that crossbow down? Alright, so you want to pay attention to the place that we threw the crossbow down, because in its place, shouldn't be a crossbow anymore, it should be a bow. Uh, oh, we were in that place, so we already picked it up, but unless I'm mistaken, this, this bow that we just picked up, should be the remodified crossbow. Uh, I I already know how to play. No, thank you. All right, there we go. So if we hold it down. Oh. Well, what? Oh, I, I okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. One second. One second. Or, wait a minute. Wait. Alright, I'm gonna get another crossbow. We're gonna do this again. Alright, here we go. Exiting Minecraft. Oh, that's the scan editor. Uh, block token. Alright, here we go. Means. Pulls work. All right. Maybe it's right here. I think. Please be the crossbow, please. Yes. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to... Uh, we're going to... Uh, what? No. We're gonna delete the cross. Now it's just gonna be a bow. All right, we're gonna create the tag. We're going to make it a compound tag. We're gonna create. We're going to add sub tag. We're going to put charged item. We're gonna make that a compound tag. Create, and I think, I think what we should do is we should just stop right there, and hopefully, hopefully we're good. Please work, because I really do not want to do this a third time. I am seriously hoping this works. Please work. And it is almost nine o'clock, so I should probably, I should probably, um, hope this works for the better of my bedtime, because if I 
have to do this 50 more times, eventually it'll become 11 o'clock, and yee. Not saying I go to bed at 11. I'm not that crazy. Alright, so, um... Why did we spawn in the air? Oh, shoot, do you really have to... Oh, shoot. Alright, I think I can save us, guys. Oh, please. I really... If, if I just lost the troll bow, I will be really triggered. TP-122-100-5-7-8-9-10-11-12-13-14-15-16-17-18-19-20-21-22-23-24-25-26-27-28-29-30-31-32-33-34-35-36-37-38-39-40-41-42-43-44-45-46-47-48-49-50-51-52
No, 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 no. Did I just lose it? Did I just... Uh... 122, 71, 573. 122, 573. Alright. Where's the crossbow? Alright, technical difficulties. I'll be right back. Guys, I think I just realized what made it a troll bow. I don't think it had anything to do with the multi shot. <sighs> Guys? I think I realized why the charged item thing wasn't working. So, uh, we threw down the crossbow. And I tried to think back on when I made that troll bow that I- that we all saw in the beginning. What did I do that was so different when I created that bow? Well, I threw down the crossbow, that wasn't any different. But you wanna know what I did before I threw it down. I loaded it. <sighs> I am so dumb. Why did I not think of that? You know what? Whatever. Finally, let's hope this works for real. Hang on, I don't think... I don't trust that position. We're just gonna do it. Why don't the command blocks like that? Perfect. Alright, now it's... Exit Minecraft, go on the block topograph. Alright, here's the memes world. And hopefully it actually shows on the NBT editor. You know what, that's close enough. What the? Uh, well, the age certainly are at 5119. What are these? Cobblestone? Three seven eight seven, three seven eight seven, bro. Where the frick is this crossbow? <laughs> Where's the crossbow, dude? Oh, I think this is it. What? It's a freaking creeper. Wow. Well played. Alright, so there's the 5,100. How many of these things are there? Please. It's another freaking <laughs> creeper. Ugh. What the... What the actual derp? What the actual derp? What's going on? Alright. Maybe... Maybe we shouldn't have, um... Done this. Uh, maybe we should have just. All right. Uh, one twenty-two five seventy-four. Right. Oh, I so hope this works. I've been doing this for too long. Frick. Guys, um, at this point, it is almost 9 o'clock, so uh, at this point, I'm probably going to have to get off the tablet, because it's probably not healthy for me to stay on this late. might affect my sleep. Um, I'm just going to have to end the video here, well, as of tonight. And maybe I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I don't know. I really want to make this troll bow. Cause the thing is, I can't. This. Okay. What position is the player on? He's one sixty three. Uh, one twenty three five seventy six. One twenty three five seventy seven. One twenty three five seventy six. But what's this? What is all this? 
Wait, this is an item. It's dirt. Wow. Huh? What the? This is all dirt. I can literally check every single one of these. I can tell because of the age. If the the age has got to be like at least less than the 100s. But everything here is 5119. Whoops, hang on. Dude. 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 Oh, that's 5120, eh? It... <sighs> and my mom interrupted the recording again. That's the creeper, I think. Yep, that's the creeper. Uh... Well, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to have to say goodnight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I think this is it. Please tell me it is. Okay, age 649. That does sound about right. Yes! Oh, thank God. Okay. Finally. Now... Question is, is it going to work? Don't ask me how long it took to um, get this to work, guys. Please don't. Alright, so... That's multi-shot. So... No, I don't want to close the MBT editor. Alright, last time I did this, I had it as 100. So I'm just going to put it like that. <clears throat> and then, uh, charged item, last time I tried to make it something that shot multiple arrows, like more than three, so that's just what I'm going to try and do, um, Maybe I'll do the damage, too. I'll say, hey, it does 20 damage, boy. Yee. Uh, whatever. Uh, okay. Let's hope this works. Save. Save the MBT data. Exiting block topograph. Going into Minecraft. And I really hope this works. Okay, guys, literally as the world started loading, the thing started recording, so it is indeed a bow. I just hope it works. Bow with multi shot 100. Guys, I did it! I finally created it. Yee! Perfect! Now, just for future reference, if you're ever holding a bow, you can't, like, tap on another part of the hotbar. Also, it shoots. <laughs> but this bow. Wait a second. Probably shouldn't do that when that command block's right there. It makes everything shoot TNT. I'm so happy. Guys, this is awesome. This is actually awesome.
So yeah, this is how I'm going to switch out 9699's bow. I'm going to get that really awesome TNT bow. And we're going to switch it out with a horrible bow that can't even shoot at all. So, yeah. And this arrow is just like, yeet. Oh, I just realized. Yep. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Well, good thing this one doesn't even fire at all. You know? Yeah! Okay. So, yeah. I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those of you who don't watch my YouTube channel regularly, um, how did you like this video? Uh, might you try and watch some of my other videos? Because it's not just this one that's pretty cool. Actually, if you're looking for weird, weird things in Minecraft, like similar to this bow that doesn't fire. Um, I mean, I'm not saying what I'm about to say is similar, but... Um, there is, like, there is a thing, um, there's a video I made where I can make a double-sided trident. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, the, quick disclaimer, though, it, like, you can't actually throw them, but they are there. Yeah, anyway, um, that's gonna do it. Like and subscribe and stuff, and I'm just gonna see you all later.